Hi, and welcome to another episode of EPMS Tech Talk. I'm Craig Anderson. And I'm Joanne Laflamme. How are you doing, Joanne? Good, how are you? Good. So I guess the topic today is CRM. That would be awesome. We have um, a lot of customers who've been asking questions about it, who've even been purchasing the module, and it'd be great to do some videos on, on how to use it. Yeah, I think this is a good time. So mm -hmm. uh, we have different views in CRM, so I think we can start there. So tonight's video will be basically an intro to all the primary views mm -hmm. and what the concept behind each one of those views is. Okay, that'd be great. Um, how about we start with the customer view? Um, excuse me, the home view. Yeah, we can start with the home okay. view. All right, so I'm going to come to the screen here, and I already have um, CRM open. So one of the things I want to talk about, which is kind of different from what Enterprise has done in the past. Enterprise um, had a certain size, and it was fixed on that screen as uh, right. that certain size. Well, the new CRM GUI and the new GUI in Enterprise allows you to go full screen. So it gives you more real estate to work in. And also, as a product developer, it gives us mm -hmm. more real estate to work in. And because of all the detail in CRM, having that real estate really helps. So right now I have it on screen here, and we are in one of the primary views, which is called Home View. And right now I have the screen basically minimized a little bit. So I'm actually going to expand it to full screen. So now I'm getting a lot more real estate. In the home view, which again is one of the primary views, we have three other sub views. We have home tab, which gives us this graphical overview. We have the dashboard tab, which is, interestingly enough, a user-defined dashboard area. So each user can actually load their own specific gauges and charts for whatever they have access to in enterprise. So when you look at this, you're actually seeing um, dashboard gauges that are designed and pertinent to my information. Okay, makes sense. All right. The other view is the favorite view. And this is where in CRM we've created a handful of widgets to try to make life easier for the user. As you know, when you work in a day, you sometimes will have multiple applications open, and you're always having to go open another application or find another document to perform mm -hmm. your function during the day. Well, this new view, the favorite view, with some of these widgets, we hope we have made your life a little bit easier. For example, you have an application widget and a document widget. You have a website widget. The premise behind those three right there are to get you access to those various items quicker. Okay. And we've also simplified it by allowing you set up each one of those widgets as buttons up here in the toolbar. So if I click one of them, I actually can bring the network widget right up on top. All right. And as we scroll down, we have some additional widgets, an order entry and an estimated list, an unread email list, which would show you emails that were received into the CRM email client and have not been read, and the user's personalized little row of decks contact mm -hmm. okay. widget. Okay, So on the home view, you have the favorites view, and again, you have the dashboard view, and the home view, which allows you to access all the modules that you have access to, and the modules that the company owns. Well, also in the home view, you have panels off to the side which show your other views. So your other primary view is a customer view, report view, and event view, which will actually go through individually. Okay. Okay. But before we do that, let's take a look at the module buttons here. We also have a list of modules that we can click on and actually open up. We can also click on that particular module here in the workflow diagram. And we also have a panel that allows us to access the account of modules if you own that. We also have another panel here that gives you access to, to some of the admin tools. Mm -hmm. uh, this panel will not be available to people that don't have access to this stuff, but these are some of the common tools used in either setting up the CRM users and also some things like error logs and XML file error logs. Um, this is where you set up your email accounts for use in CRM. You can access a user manager from here as well as some of the other common information that you can also do from the regular um, maintenance screen in Enterprise. Then we have at the bottom here, we have a section for support. What we decided to do, we're always trying to make um, customers um, 
we're trying to provide customers with easy ways of getting a hold of us mm -hmm. and keeping up with information that's going on with us. So the concept here is between this panel here off on the side and these five buttons down here on the bottom, you can get access to information a lot quicker. So let's go through this a little bit. Okay. So the first one is help menu, HE, which you can get here or up here. That's our online uh, user documents, which we are constantly updating with every change in the program. As we add new features, those documents are updated to include those new features. Okay. And we, we guarantee as best we can that they're gonna be in sync with every quarter release that we release at that point. Okay. okay? Yeah. The release notes, which you can access here and down here, those are where we spell out um, in a web browser document as well um, all the enhancements that have been added to the program, and you can look at that by each re major release. Okay. Okay. The support button, which you can also get down here in the middle, obviously is to log into the support site, which everybody should know about. Um, down here we have a customer forum, which we have up here as well. I did skip over WebEx. This one has an extra button here called for WebEx. So when you're working with customers in WebEx, they mm -hmm. can access it here. Okay. All right. And then you have a video one, which is also up here. That's where we have the um, videos that we do, like this, this one. Way. This one's going to be posted up there. That's okay. a great resource for going to see things about the product. Mm -hmm. And then you have ShareFile, which is our new FTP uh, protocol that we do. So that's the home view. There's a lot of stuff there, there a lot is. of things to do. Yeah. Can we now take a look maybe at the customer view, which I understand is like the heart of CRM? Yeah, it is, is the heart, and that's where people are going to probably be working most of mm -hmm. the time. All right, so but I can access the customer view by either clicking on the C up here in the left-hand corner, or I can come here and click on this button. So what do we see? Well, we get a list of customers. The interesting thing here with the new CRM module and this feature actually is only available if you have CRM. Mm -hmm. In Enterprise, Enterprise was designed as an estimate order entry system. So everything right. hung off an estimate or an order. Mm -hmm. The customers, the vendors, the materials, and so forth. With CRM, we kind of twisted that all about and now put the focus on the customer. So now when you look at a customer, everything is now focused on that customer. So how do we do that? Well, you, you get a customer list based on your access right in the customers that you're allowed to access. You highlight a customer and then all these tabs down here on the bottom, which we're going to go into detail during the regular mm -hmm. training, um, are now methods of getting access to all this information. So I can just simply switch to another customer and the detail below changes. Okay, so this is now a lot more powerful for a user, especially somebody that may be on the phone with a customer because mm -hmm. now they can get access to the information a lot quicker. Mm -hmm. If I just need to go see the estimates, I click on the estimates tab and now I get a list of the estimates. If I want to see the orders, I go to the orders tab and I can see all the orders. All right, so you can see the power behind this. Absolutely. It gives you quick access to all this information all pertinent to the highlighted customer. So whatever customer is highlighted, the information located down in these tabs is all pertinent to that customer. Okay? Great, makes sense. So we're going to go into a lot more detail mm -hmm. when we actually start to do the user. Okay. So the next view. The next view, the reports view. Yes. Let's take a look at that. Yeah. This is another customized area um, for the user. The, the intent behind the report view is to give users the ability to basically take their favorite reports, which are the ones they commonly use on a regular basis, and put them in an area, a staging area, that they can get access to them quickly without having to actually navigate through the system to get to a particular module mm -hmm. to run a report. You can now load that favorite report to the favorite screen. Okay. So when a person or user has access to all um, accounts, and I'm going to look at all accounts here, and they have access to all modules, they will have the ability to load reports under the four common categories. So in the report view, you have a customer service category, you have a production category, you have a financial category, and a general. Okay. So these four areas allow you to load 
reports specific to that area. For example, in the financial area, you're going to be able to load any sort of financial report, assuming that you have access to the financial modules in Enterprise right. or that financial information. Okay. So every user can set up their own customized dashboard here for their favorite for their reports. reports. Makes sense. Great. Okay. How about taking a look at the last view, the event view? Okay. The event view, which again can be accessed by clicking on the E or the event button, serves many functions. The first function in the view that it defaults to when it first loads is really an admin maintenance area. Okay. When you are using CRM, and CRM, in CRM you create calendars, tasks, or you send and receive emails, we consider those events. And the byproduct of creating a calendar or a task or sending or receiving an email creates an event ID in the database, and that's how okay. it gets all tied together. So the event screen is one of the ways to find and search for a particular event after a period of time has gone by mm -hmm. that you've been using the system mm -hmm. and you want to reference it back to something older. Okay. It's also an area that you can use to reassign things. So right now we're in the event view, but we're on what we call the all events, which is this radio button here. So that means right now, without changing any of the filters up here, I am looking at all my tasks, emails, and calendar events that have been created by every CRM user for all customers because of my filter. Mm -hmm. Okay. So obviously I'm not going to get into too much detail, but I can then use this and I can mm -hmm. filter down to say, well, I want to find all the emails that Joanne has sent mm -hmm. for this one particular customer, and I can search and use this screen to help find that. Makes okay. Sense. Mm -hmm. The other real area of use or importance with the event view is actually the global email view. Mm -hmm. You do have the ability to use the CRM email client. And when you use that client, you can manage emails either on the customer level in the customer view, mm -hmm. so all the emails that you send and receive will be pertinent to the highlighted customer. Right. Or you can come here and send emails or look at emails and read emails or respond to emails that came from every customer mm -hmm. by every user. Okay, so again, it gives you global access. So right now we're looking at all emails that fell into a general category, and we'll explain that in greater detail mm -hmm. when we do some more in-depth training, and actually see the emails, and I can follow each thread, each back and forth conversation going on, okay? So you have the different categories, and those can all be accessed here, and right now I'm looking at all customers. So using the filters, I can obviously drill down into more specific emails, from more specific customers. Okay? Great. The next area in there are the calendars and tasks. This is an area where you can see a much larger calendar. Mm -hmm. We, I think you remember we saw a little calendar for right. task and calendar events on the favorite screen, mm -hmm. but now this is a larger one. So this just gives you a much larger calendar view. And right now we're looking at the calendar calendar and the difference between a calendar calendar and a task calendar is a calendar calendar is an event that spans over time, mm -hmm. minutes, hours, days, weeks, whatever. And a task is a single point in time obligation that you need to live okay. up to. Okay? So I can look at either the calendar or the task by just toggling on the radio button. But I want to jump back to this a little bit because I can also open up this calendar screen no matter where I am, which is just another version of that, mm -hmm. by using the favorite widget buttons that we've added up into the toolbar menu. Okay. All right, well, that's the four primary views of CRM. Thank you, that was great. Yeah, you're welcome. So next video is going to be more in-depth. Mm -hmm. We're going to have a whole series of them, and the next one we're going to focus on setting up a user and setting up some of the preferences in CRM. So okay. that'll be the next video we did. Great. Okay. I look forward to learning more about CRM in the next upcoming videos. Excellent. Well, that was another episode of EPMS Tech Talk. I'm Craig Anderson. And I'm Joanne Laflam. Keep looking for more to come.